In order to use authentication in your Grails application, there is some there is one fantastic plugin available called as Spring Security Core, right? So in order to use that plugin, first go to your build.gradle and specify the dependency. So there's an official documentation available of this plugin, Spring Security Core plugin. You can just download this uh, documentation, right, in the PDF format. Copy this path of dependency, go to your build.gradle and put it here. As soon as you do that, come out, it will uh, recompile the project because we have changed the build.gradle file, right? Now, this plugin has already created a nice script for us to create the basic domain classes required for authentication system that is user and role the two basic tables or two basic models that we require for our authentication system to work right so uh, let's quickly run this script say view tool windows terminal in app terminal okay uh, i think so let's just copy this command and we will specify our package name. So I'll say com.dbartos.auth right? and then I'll say user and role, create two. Right? So enter. So the domains are there. So now any moment we can see that in our, yeah, com.dbartos.auth and we have got role, user and user role, three tables created for us, right? So now those models are here. So let's just again rerun it for us to create those uh, tables. Okay. So if you look at this user model, uh, it has some by default, it has created some fields, username, password, by default account is enabled. The user is by default enabled, right? Uh, and it has certain fields such as password expired, account locked and account expired. Basically all the fields that one requires for user management, right? So this is all done by the plugin for us. So it's amazing, uh, right? Let's suppose we want to add our own fields in our user table. Let's say I want to add string first name. Yeah, I mean, I do want my, my own columns in the user table, right? It's not just for login. I also want it to store my user info. So I'll say last name, uh, I'll say, email right? obviously uh, the model also provides you with the validation facility so you can you can uh, have some regular expression for email but we'll do that later we'll just make it a string right now okay and yeah so let's let's run the project now so that this table will get created and you can see the new tables that have been created for us uh, the role user and user role in user table, you can see first name, last name, email, and all those columns that we had specified, plus the basic columns that the plugin gave us, right? So fantastic, we are all set, uh, our user class is there, right? So what I want to do now is that uh, I want to restrict the access to our root path, right? So we'll go to our controller, the main controller.groovy, right? And I'll just put an annotation here, right? Okay. So it will import the necessary thing. I'll just put a notation called as secured, and I'll say role user, right? So only those who are logged in as role user should be able to view the methods of these classes or should be able to view main controller pages, right? So before that, I need to create this role. So I'll just go into my bootstrap. Groovy. And this is the init function here where you can create the initial data for your system, right? So you can see I've created one admin role called as role admin. I've created one user role, role user, right? And I've created a one admin and one user and have added those users and admin to the respective roles of admin and user, right? So let's just uh, rerun the application for this data to get created. And also we have applied this main controller annotation that is secured role user. So only those users which are in this role of user will be able to view the index method or index page of our main controller. So that is how we do authorization and authentication. Okay, so we've got an exception. We, we haven't imported the 
com dot b virtus dot auth dot star so we have to import all those classes to be able to use here okay <laughs> welcome to java <laughs> okay okay so application has restarted and we'll go back and i think if we see the user data those two users are here that we have created right and if you see the user role uh, role table those roles are also there role admin and role user right so all the data is there so let's type our url as localhost 8080 and let's say main slash so it will redirect us to the login prompt now this login prompt is also created for you by the spring uh, security plugin the other user is the one who is only user so as you say login then it will take you to the page that you were intending to log in right now a small thing we can do is we can have a logout link here somewhere right a small setting that we need to do in order to have logout is that you need to go back to your uh, application.groovy and here you have to specify logout post only as false so what basically that means is that your logout requests are by default of type post http post and you also want http get logout request to work so that's why i have set it as false right now what we'll do is we'll go to our uh, layout view views layout and in our main.gsp there's a nav bar right so in the nav bar so i just want to add the logout link if the user has logged in right so the amazing thing about this spring security core plugin is that it gives you its own tabs which you can use to check if somebody has logged in or not here is the code so you can say sec is the keyword for using those tags spring security i guess uh, security if logged in then i added this drop down uh, where i'm welcoming the user with his username and i'm having this logout link right so now you're wondering we did not create any uh, page for login that login form we did not create any logic so is the logout we need to write some logic for logout no so spring security core plugin gives you all that functionality uh, beforehand as soon as you run that script uh, you install the plugin it has all the controllers ready for you logout login login views of course you can override those views with your own login prompts with your own uh, design and we'll do that but for now we'll just use the uh, functionality provided by Sing spring security plugin for login and logout right so all you got to do is write this link controller logout and say logout so this is the link that's it and this will be only shown if logged in right so let's go and let's just refresh this okay so you can see now we have this hello username prompt and we have a logout link and then we can just say logout and we are back to it is right okay now that we have created a login prompt and we have seen how to do logout let's let's do some more user management user and role management so the spring security core plugin also gives us a all the ready-made code and views for doing the CRUD operations on users and roles all you got to do is you know copy this command and go to your terminal in the project directory and say so your package name should be correct so our package name was com.bbarters.auth.user right and it will generate all the controllers as well as views required for this similarly you can also do this for role so just say role here run the application right. okay as you can see the application is running now so i log in go to user okay user slash so i'm not authorized okay so let's go back to code and let's go to grills app controllers and user controller and let's say at secured let's say 
रूल एडमिन कूल सो लेट जस्ट जस्ट रिकम्पाइल दिस आल्सो वी वर डिनाइड एक्सेस टू मेन कंट्रोलर आल्सो राइट सो मेन कंट्रोलर आल्सो विल से रोल यूजर कॉमा रोल एडमिन राइट सो गो नाउ टू यूजर and you can see that now we can see the list of all the users we can also say create new user it will give you this form will all the fields that you have mentioned in your user model are here okay enable and say create and it has created a new user and you can say go to user list and you can see this new user being created of course you can customize this uh, sign up form according to your design requirements uh, similarly you can also go to roles i'm not sure if we have authorized ourselves you are not so go to role controller uh, put the same uh, access to role ad admin uh, secured access so here uh, secured role admin so that admins are allowed to do this uh, recompile and quickly how oh, like okay let's go back to this and say role now you can see role list admin and user you can create a new role let's say role uh, super admin right something like that super admin correct create this role so role is created and you can go and see this role so this is basically users and role management that you can do using your spring security core plugin right as i said we can now we have a lot of power because there's a lot of code here user controller so you can use this code you can enhance this code for example you can for example you can send email confirmation email when you are creating a new user so uh, so in this save method for user you can write the email code somewhere here right so a lot of things are possible and also you can see the views are there if you go to views directory in the user you can customize this view as in whatever you want it as cool